Active investing is a strategy that investors use when they're trying to beat a market or some appropriate benchmark. Active investors rely on speculation about short-term future market movements. They commonly engage in picking stocks, times, managers, or even investment styles. These self-defeating practices of active investors unnecessarily increase their risk, expenses, taxes, and anxiety. Most importantly, the sport of speculation deprives investors of the returns that they could earn if they would just simply buy, hold, and rebalance a globally diversified, low-cost, and passively managed portfolio of funds matched to their risk capacity. Active investors disregard some of history's most important lessons. Most do not read the peer-reviewed academic studies and Nobel Prize-winning economic research. They instead rely on the financial media's messages to drive their investing decisions. These investors are largely unaware of the fact that media outlets profit handsomely from the advertising dollars of brokerage firms, trading services, and active trader publications that encourage them to trade. Nearly 300 years of statistical, scientific, and economic research explain why investors who buy, hold, and rebalance an investment in global capitalism reap the rewards in proportion to the risk they take. The financial media largely focuses on forecasts and the daily movement of stocks and market indices, showering rewards on those who have been lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time. But it is virtually impossible for a stock picking fund manager or individual stock picking investor to consistently predict and invest in the stocks that will have the highest returns in the future. This difficulty is based on the tenets of market efficiency, which states that prices reflect all available information. Stock pickers tend to be overly confident in their skill to generate above benchmark returns, but studies have shown that their winning performance is primarily due to luck, not skill. Time pickers, also known as market timers, mistakenly believe they can predict the future movement of the stock market. Such decisions usually do not fare well because they are based on the fallacy that the direction of future price movements can be predicted. An investor can only know the current price and the past price, but market timing can be alluring due to the possibility of large gains. However, investors don't understand the market continuously sets prices in response to news, and that news is random and unpredictable. In a study titled, Likely Gains from Market Timing, Nobel laureate William Sharp concluded that a market timer must have an accuracy of their forecast that exceeds 74% to outperform the market. Active investors unnecessarily increase their risk, expenses, taxes, and anxiety. Numerous studies have shown actively managed investments generally carry more risk and lower returns than globally diversified risk-appropriate index portfolios. Despite this fact, investors frequently fall prey to the allure of past winners, hiring the hottest new fund managers only to fire them later because their past performance doesn't persist in subsequent periods. Sometimes active managers can repeat their success several years in a row, but that success has rarely lasted. In short, yesterday's returns are not for sale. Style drift occurs when an active manager drifts from a specific style, asset class, or index that is described as the stated investment purpose of a fund. Style drift is a serious problem for investors who believe they are invested in a portfolio that matches their risk capacity. Since managers of active funds seek to outperform the benchmark, they often wander outside of the boundaries of the benchmark, altering the fund's exposure to risk and its volatility of returns. In contrast, passively managed funds adhere to rules of construction which under normal circumstances are held constant. 
There are many silent partners that quietly eat away at active investors' returns. Investor returns are eroded by state and federal taxes, sales commissions or loads, fund expense ratios, fund turnover, and transaction costs. Active mutual funds are known to have higher turnover rates than passive funds, creating tax liabilities and mistakes that erode returns. Although most passively managed funds are tax efficient by nature, some ETFs and other strategies can provide further benefits to save even more taxes. On the portfolio management level, tax loss harvesting of funds can add even more tax efficiency. Investors in both traditional and non-traditional index funds are likely to be rewarded for understanding and shouldering stock market risk. In fact, the very reason investors can expect to earn a return is because of their exposure to risks. The key is to invest in those risk factors that have been shown to compensate investors and to diversify away uncompensated risks. Examples of uncompensated risks are stock picking, time picking, manager picking, style picking, and past performance chasing. So investors should just invest in a risk level that matches their risk capacity, rebalance their portfolio, and hold on until they need the money. Odds are you don't know what the odds are. Most investors make investment decisions without a knowledge of the long-term history of stock markets. Historical stock market data provides investors with a powerful set of tools for constructing diversified portfolios. By analyzing large data samples like 50 years of monthly returns, investors can better understand the risk factors that have been shown to produce higher returns. So you can improve your odds as an investor by improving your knowledge of the history of markets. To optimize investment results, investors should only take on as much risk as they have the capacity to hold. Risk capacity is a measure of an investor's ability to withstand market volatility and to earn investment returns. By taking IFA's Risk Capacity Survey, you can determine the appropriate amount of risk for you. Your personalized risk capacity score will match you to a low cost, globally diversified and passively managed index portfolio. Investors need to match their risk capacity score to a risk exposure. We call this process matching people with portfolios. IFA's 100 index portfolios are a continuum of risk and return, ranging from a very low risk to a very high risk. Each portfolio is constructed of passively managed funds that provide exposure to the various dimensions of risk, which maximize expected returns for each index portfolio. Clients of index fund advisors can invest more confidently and comfortably as they step off the emotional roller coaster of active investing. Ongoing wealth management and tax services include asset allocation and location, rebalancing, glide pathing, tax loss harvesting, tax planning and returns, financial planning, college planning, charitable giving, and referrals for estate planning, insurance, banking, and mortgages, giving our clients the ability to invest and relax.